Welcome to Great Gadgets and Gear. Sorry, it's been a while. All right, I think I have my camera problem under control. This is my Nikon 7500, and we're gonna test this out. Um, this is my get home bag. We're gonna take a look at this. And you guys let me know what you think about the quality of the camera. Um, and make sure we're really in focus there, okay. All right, so this is my get-home bag. Um, it's been in my truck for a while. I haven't gone through it. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to walk through it with you. I hope you guys can give me some input on this. I would like to trim it down a little bit. I love this Kelty bag. It's a Red Wing 32. I wish they had the same kind of style bag, but a little bit smaller. It's great for organization. Really love this bag. But I haven't weighed this. I'll put it in the description. It does feel a little on the heavy side. So the purpose of this bag is whatever. <laughs> whatever I'm going to have to go through to get home from wherever I am. I could be in an urban city. I could be out in the wilderness because I do both. I go everywhere. So I have no idea where I'm going to be when something hits. And it could be anything. It could be what's going on now with pandemics and riots and social unrest. And it could be fires. It could be weather related. It could be anything. I mean, in this day and age, we know anything is possible. Uh, you never know. It could be a war. So I need the most capability and reasonable capability. I'm not going to be able to cover every single little contingency. Um, but I want to try to cover as much as I can and comfortably carry it and have it ready. So please give me your input, suggestions, tips, any way to streamline it, any way maybe to combine some things. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get to it. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to go in too deep of detail. If there's something you want to see more of, let me know. Uh, climbing grade locking carabiner. And sorry, I'm tripping over my words. Um, new camera, it's hard to tell how much time I've got before it cuts off. Another climbing grade carabiner, just in case. All right, in the front pocket here. All right, we have a ton of stuff. Individual wet ones, best they don't dry out better than the big packs. So I always buy these. Uh, they work really well. I have a belt in here. I hate belts, but in an emergency situation, I want to be able to take some stuff out of this pack and carry it. My Gomboy. I love this saw. This is an amazing saw. Um, so this is definitely one of those non-negotiable things that's going to stay in the pack because I really like it. And it works really well. Uh, Power Gen. This is a really old uh, battery charger for my phone or whatever. But this thing will hold a charge forever. I think I lost one bar in six months of it just sitting in my truck. So uh, works really well. A couple of chem lights, white and a yellow, in case you need to see real light. And then I have some maps for my area. Um, I have some books in here. I have animal tracks, medicinal medicine, you know, plants, and then, oh wait, I better look. I'm talking too fast and getting ahead of myself here. So I have animal tracks, like I like to learn, edible wild plants, medicinal plants. And then I have a compass in here. All right. Um, I have some extra thick zip ties. Everybody knows the uses for those. A pen. And then as part of my communication, I have a laser pointer for signaling. I have some ammunition because you never know. And then up here I have a ham radio so you have some type of information, communication, you can hear some news. Um, I am thinking about putting, um, I have a weather radio and radio uh, in here. Let me know what you guys think. Ham radio, both, or emergency radio. Um, the saw, SOL, the dual survival blanket, cord to charge my phone, some uh, wipes for my gun to keep it clean and functioning. Okay, that's that pocket. I'll go around to the side here. I'm standing in a frame for you. All right, on this side, I have a fire kit. I have, I uh, got this off Amazon. I have this Condor knife, El Salvador. I like this knife, it takes a beating. It stays sharp. Um, 
I put it through its paces. I really like it, so that's going to stay. Uh, the sharpener, I think, is on my site, too. I really like this thing. I'm getting really better <laughs> at sharpening. And then, I think this is my Nikor, yeah. Nikor flashlight. Got some light. And a really beefy fire starter. I really like these beefy ones, and I like them with the long uh, cord on them so you can get some good spark out of this thing. This thing sparks really well, but the beefy ones are awesome. Sometimes they're hard to find, though. I tried finding some for friends. And sometimes I either can't find them or I find them and they're ungodly expensive. So whenever I do come across a deal on those, I kind of snatch them up because they're just fun to play with too to practice. Fire kids, all your basic sit stuff. There's uh, jute twine in here. There's some fat wood in here. There's some wet fire. Uh, lighter, pick lighter. Always pick. Pick is the best. I think there's even some esbit cubes down there in the bottom. So that's my little my little homemade fire kit I put together. Alright. Down in the bottom, I have a set of gloves. I hate wearing gloves, but in an emergency situation you don't know what you're gonna be handling, so I got these from Menards Ironclad a few years back. They're high visibility, but my god, they're really comfortable to wear and you still have some manual dexterity so those are definitely going to stay in here okay around the back here make sure I'm still in frame uh, I have a magnet just because a whistle and then non-lethal some mace here and then on this side in this pocket for, just for morale, I have a couple of Nature Valley bars and then the Sawyer Mini and a few different bags in there in case one pops, one breaks. That way I have a backup and some ways to carry additional water. I always have water on me. I always carry water in my truck. I always have it wherever I go. At least a couple of bottles, but this way if I'm out in the woods and I need some more, I can do it. I also always, on my person, I carry a lighter, a knife, and a flashlight, always. Um, mini binoculars, so I have some, some sights. Uh, I like to be prepared, because you just, you never know. I don't smoke or anything, but I always carry a lighter for multiple purposes. All right, up in the top, I got a ton of stuff. Again, some of this stuff needs to be whittled down, but there's some, um, Survival sunglasses in here in case you happen to break your sunglasses, misplace them, something happens. They were small, compact, and um, oh my god, snow blind, this will just kill you. So that's why I put those in there. Uh, and then a Princeton Tech headlamp, so I have a couple different types of light. Uh, pick to keep your hair from snarling up and to tie it back. I have again more lighters, either for barter or for a backup. I have a little wallet with ID, credit cards, and cash. Again, you don't know if you're going to be in an urban or wilderness environment. Some Gear Ward survival cord. Really love this stuff. It's compact. It's really, really tough stuff, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. So, And then a uh, bandana. Uh, something for sprains and something quick to get to. Then I have a little toiletry pack uh, with some wet fire and again another lighter in there. You just can't have enough lighters. Um, if you've ever had to flint pop out of a Bic lighter, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, this bag's been sitting for a little while and a little dusty. Uh, and then some Carmex. So, again, some of this stuff, you know, I have multiples of. Maybe I could, you know, trim it down a little bit. But, man, I just... Especially lighters. I mean, the last thing you want to be without is light or heat. So I do tend to stock up quite a bit on those. Okay. So that's the brain of the pack. Now we're going to get into the meat of the pack. Again, you know, any help on revising this? Maybe some smarter choices or leaner choices. Uh, input is always good. Let's share the knowledge and help each other out. Okay, so 
we in frame here? All right. Okay, so I have, you know, I struggled with this because the ham radio, it's, uh, the battery pack on it, it's rechargeable. So I have the space and it was either use the cigarette lighter because I didn't want to carry too much stuff or the wall outlet and I figured this was probably the best. I also have a battery pack that you can put AA batteries in. Um, so it's, it's I'm, I'm not sure which way to go with that. If I should go with those because those batteries could die. Um, I could use rechargeable, I guess. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I have a med kit. I think I did a review on this on my channel. It's quite comprehensive. There's a boo-boo kit in the front, so you get to for a little boo-boo stuff. And then just real quickly on the inside. It's quite capable. It's quite stuff in this Max Edition. I have chest seals. I have an additional ace bandage, a really high quality one. Um, I have stuff in there for iodine. I have clotting sponges. I have burn creams. I have um, scissors. I have all kinds of ointments. Ointments for your feet. I have an Israeli battle bandage taken out of the first package. It's still shrink wrapped. All kinds of stuff for your stomach. Stuff like that. Um, and there is a tourniquet in here. And I know the tourniquet should be on the outside, but I don't know. I, it's better to have it than not have it at all, so at least I have it in there. All right, and then for the morale, because you don't know how many days you're going to be out, a little something for food. Just some. These are better with a little bit of milk, though, i got to tell you. So powdered milk might be a way to go, because they taste horrible, just water. But pasta size is pretty good. Uh, I have a set of silverware in case your hands get so gunky. Um, I have a metal straw. There's multiple uses for that. Some salt and pepper just for some morale and then something to clean up with. I have uh, one of those scarves, Israeli scarves. And then I have a set of eye protection. These are tinted. Um, I think I threw these in here in the winter. They won't do you much good in the dark, but you know if you're moving around during the daytime, you know through fire, debris, you know something where you need to protect your eyes. I have that, and then along with what's going on right now in the world, I have a 3M respirator, half mask, and then the P100 filters. So it's nice quality. Um, Definitely worth the money. Okay, then I have my jet boil. I love my jet boil. This thing is awesome. It's all complete. You have your fuel. You have I have stuff in here to clean up. Uh, actually, it looks like it got a little rusted there. It did. I have to check that. Hmm, it's moist. I wonder why that's moist. Something might have leaked. Okay, so there's a fuel canister in here. There's some salt and pepper in here. Just a little bit of stuff in there. And then your spoon. So you're all set. You can cook your food. You can boil and purify your water. You can have a nice warm drink. Again, morale. And you don't know where you're going to be. Okay, getting down to the bottom here. I got a towel in case you want to clean up a little bit. It's always good to be a little clean. I think I'm going to put in the toiletry bag a little tube of toothpaste and a toothbrush too though because that will help for morale and it just feels good. Uh, thermal bivy and for health too. So that will keep me warm. And my axe. I know I have a saw in here but this will work for hammering, chopping, self-defense uh, in case you run out of ammunition. And it is an amazing little axe. I think it's a Marbles axe. Uh, I've seen this off of Wrangler Stars, Wrangler Stars uh, videos. Guy's really cool. He turns out some really good, interesting videos with his line of work and homesteading and stuff. Um, $27, I think, I paid for this axe. And I just love it. Just an incredible axe. I use this all the time. I really like it. So I put that in there. And then, let's see. Ah, oh, I didn't even know this was in here. Uh, my little, I know there's a video on this. A little survival kit, so there's all kinds of stuff in here. I'm not going to go through this. There's a video on it if you want to watch it. 
again, just apron, extra capability and max production bags. My God, this thing is just tiny. I even forgot it was in there. Uh, this is not my first time shooting this video. <laughs> so here's the things I missed. And then a puck for my axe. So glad I shot this video over. I'm finding more stuff in here. Okay, and then in the last pocket here, I got a hank of paracord. And this is just cheapy Walmart paracord, but it works. It has all the strands. And then for an impromptu shelter, I'm going to switch this out to the green one, though. Your space blanket, and then I have four really tough aluminum pegs. So I try to cover as much um, stuff as I could, as much capability as I could. But like I said, I would like to let go of me. <laughs> I would like to dwindle this stuff down a little bit, you know, because it's quite a bit of a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I, I think like everybody else, I'm constantly streamlining my packs, changing things out. You know, try to get the most capability for the lightest weight and the less stuff. Because I agree, the more knowledge you have, the less gear you need. But again, gear is also comfort. It's also morale. Um, and some of it is just a necessity because you just don't know what's going to happen when. Um, you know, or how severe it's going to be. So... And are you alone? Are you alone? Are you with somebody? Um, you know, are you used to being in the environment that you're in? So it's nice to have the capability. And I love watching other people's bags and stuff because you get a lot of ideas and stuff. But I don't want to uh, have a huge bag. I don't want to try to have everything under the sun. I want to have try to get the most important things depending on what environment I'm in, whether it's wilderness or urban. Um, because I go all over the place, so I never know where I'm going to be when something's going to hit. So, there you have it. This is my get home bag currently. Please feel free to give me some constructive input. Um, I'd really appreciate any tips or help. Let's keep it friendly, keep it nice, try to help each other out. Uh, haters, just skip on by because I'll just block you. It's not worth the time to deal with you people. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Sorry the videos have been so slow. Hopefully let me know how you think the camera worked out, if it's clear, if you can hear everything good. All right. Great. Well, until next time, uh, enjoy yourself. Be safe out there. Take care of each other. And I'll see you at the next video.